कॉन्ग्रेचुलेशन यू गॉट योर फर्स्ट जॉब अ फर्स्ट पेड जॉब फॉर माई क्लाइंट बट वॉट इट्स टू बी डन अ हेड आई एम गोइंग टू टेल यू ऑल ऑफ इट इन दिस वीडियो एंड वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट राइट नाउ दिस वीडियो इज गोइंग टू बी कैटेगराइज और डिवाइड इन टू थ्री पार्ट सो इफ यू मिस इधर ऑफ देम यू वो मिस आउट बिग टाइम तो प्लीज वॉच द वीडियो राइट टिल द एंड द फर्स्ट पार्ट इज द जेनरिक पार्ट बट इट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट If you are not going to deliver results and going to give excuses, it is going to cost you the job and also cost you your career because the network of people is very well knitted. People know everybody through social media network. If you goof up and your clients end up talking to other people, it's going to be a problem for you to land up another job. When you are paid by a client, they expect you to deliver results. Your preparation has to be rock solid. You have to plan everything, the entire thing. You have to make notes. You have to ask the client. You have to do your ground work and lots more. Ensure you take assignment that you can deliver. Do not bank upon somebody else's experience. If you can deliver it within your capacity and your capability, that's when you are going to take an assignment. And that's the golden rule here. Whenever you pick up a job, a paid job. or any job for that matter there has to be no casual attitude you have to behave with pure professionalism now coming to the important points here in the generic category when you get an assignment from a client have a meeting with the client ask them what they want their what is the expectations and that way you will come to know how prepared are you if you are not and what kind of preparation you are going to need to deliver that job ask intelligent questions what is the shoot for where is it going to be used whether it's going to be used on social media it's going to be used on billboard it's going to be used for the internet newsletter or communication this shows that you have interest in their work and you really are keen to deliver and you understanding the depth of the matter it's a good idea to show your portfolio to a client so that when they see your work that is what happens is they can hand pick and tell you hey this is what i really like from this work and try and deliver results which is on the similar line so when you are going to do a paid job you are going to get paid for it obviously right it is very important that you get all of it documented on a paper on email what are your terms and conditions if you are going to take 50% advance these things better be documented because that way you have a proof in written prepare a formal quotation send it over an email get the consent get an approval from the client that yes i have agreed to this this cost this this terms and condition and advance that way it works as a proof legally and also makes your project safe for you if the client goes back on your word you have a written document on the basis of which you can at least recover the uh, 50% or 20% of the cost from the client for wasting your time otherwise you could have got another assignment on that particular day right so these are very very minor things you got to keep in mind quotations vary from job to job you can have a per day cost like probably you can say hey i charge per day for my skill x amount i also have a makeup artist who will be joining me for a shoot if you're doing a model shoot that i have to pay that person this you have to calculate all that and create one consolidated pricing or a costing and then give it to your client it's not necessary you always give a break up if the client asks for it you can do so but initially you can just say hey, this is a package deal from my side for a per day shoot or a per day assignment When you're preparing your costing and your quotation, also keep in mind it's not only the shoot. You have to pay your people who are going to work with you. You're going to have a staff whom you're going to pay. Later on, you're going to post process those images. So include all of this in your costing because later on, if you go back to the client and saying, "Hey, I forgot about it," the client is saying, "Sorry, we have done the deal. Now whatever has been promised from your end, it better get delivered. That way, you're going to be at a loss." While dealing with the client, always show confidence. Have a strong body language. A polite. we are talking but be firm when you talk you are not going there as a somebody who is very needy you are going there because the client want your services and you have the capability or the capacity to deliver we are now coming to the second part of the video which is the planning aspect so we can call this as plan a once you have got a job everything is done you are getting a quotation you got approval now comes the most important part have a meeting with the client understand what they want what is the mood they are looking at from the images If they've shot these kind of images before, ask them to show it to you. So at least you get a benchmark of what the expectation is. You got to deliver better result than what somebody else has done, or if not, at least at par. Because if you don't do so, this is going to be a large job with the client. Ask questions like: Is it an indoor shoot? Is it an outdoor shoot? Is it going to be shot within the company, or we need to hire a studio? We need to go somewhere at a particular location. This way, you also know what equipment you are going to use for this particular shoot. What is the preparation you are going to need? 
how many people are going to be there and so on rent your equipments well in advance do not take chance of doing the last moment because if you're going to use equipment like the 7200 lens with the f2.8 these lenses are in great demand for weddings for corporate events and for many other occasions there are chances you may not get it in end moment and on the day of shoot if you don't have a lens you are gone one thing i as a professional photographer or a filmmaker does i will go and visit the location just to see the look and feel of the particular place does it have enough charging points is the roof too short because i have faced this problem in some of my shoots where we had to put up light which was a little taller and needed that kind of you know direction from top and the roof was not that high and that that was a problem that way we told the client that this is not a apt location for shoot we got to change it and the client's responsibility it is to do so to help you get another location at least that way you are warning the client well in advance okay this is what i've done i've done my preparation i've done the planning i've been to the location there are some challenges there are some good points you can discuss and probably if it's required to change the location you can do so the client will understand that you have done your homework you have done a ground work and you have not taken things for granted and not kept it for the last moment and this is definitely going to reward you ahead now we are coming to the third part of the video which is the plan b or the planning on the day of shoot what is to be done remember you got to reach your location on time there is something called a call time call time is when you leave from the location you gather with your crew if you are not shooting alone you have a helper you have the makeup artist so if you shoot it at say 10 am in the morning it's starting it's better you have a call time at 8 am be there 2 hours prior because there's a lot of planning that goes into the on a day of shoot you got to set up your lights you have to go to do your direction there are many many things that have to be done prior to the shoot start and once everything is set and you're on time that also shows your professionalism in front of your client and that is highly appreciated take it from me i have been doing this job for the last 20 years now you have to make a checklist prior to the shoot okay battery tick extra hd card tick maybe a extra camera as a backup if this camera fails because the electronic item right and you can go wrong with it tick you got to have everything ticked before your shoot at least 24 hours before so that you know everything is in control and there is not going to be any problem you got to do a meticulous planning with your client one day prior to the shoot and tell them how the day is going to go what time the shoot begins probably a space for a break a breakfast short breakfast maybe a whatever snack tea coffee and then what time the lunch time will be and you got to tell them if they are going to provide that way the client will be definitely generous to do that for you that way you know how your day is scheduled when are you going to shoot when are you going to take a break this helps you give you a total breakdown of that particular day of shoot as a practice what i usually do if i'm shooting at the client's premises i tell them i need somebody as a point of contact who will always be with us during your shoot because anything can go wrong the electricity and other things you can at least tell that person hey we need your help please get going and otherwise you're losing out on time that way anything goes wrong and if there is any delay then that is not your lookout that is the client's part of the game to to take care of now comes the very very important point when you're filming or doing a photography for your client it is very very important that you get some shots reviewed there and then by the client to tell them see this are you liking this do you need any change do you want me to change my approach the lighting which you know, of course you, you know about it but client has to approve it on the spot if you're taking 100 shot and if the client has not approved that you are going to be in great trouble if the client says this is not what i asked for and do a reshoot and it's going to cost a lot of money and going to create a lot of lot of tension and stress between you and your client for no reason your helper or a makeup artist or the light people anything it is very important give them one hour early buffer because these people tend to get late because ultimately you are paying them not your client so they tend to take things for granted and that is going to impact you if they are late for the shoot you cannot tell a client that my lights went came late my makeup man came late my model came late that is not their look out it is your job to coordinate these things so i guess that you have now realized how important it is to have a proper planning prior to your shoot anything goes wrong it pushes it's over planning is the backbone of any project or anything that you do in life 